We are no longer just saving students, we are saving the public education system. We talk about schools being like factories. I've been in over 800 schools in 46 states. I don't see us like factories. I see us like New York stock exchanges. Some stocks go up, some stocks crash. And every single kid in your school is a stock and where they go is up to us. So here are the seven drivers shaping student success. Who we know is greater than what we know. I know Bill Gates. You know what the problem is? He don't know me. It's not what you know, it's not who you know, it's who knows you. We do a good job measuring what students know. We do a horrible job of measuring who students know. EJ was dynamic, he was exciting, but then he wrapped it up with good purpose. It was just the energy and the passion that he has speaking about education. I was an average student. In third grade, my reading teacher asked me to spell football on the board and I spelled F-U-T-B-E-L. If you know Spanish or English, both was incorrect. <laughs> I misspelled that bad boy in two languages, okay? Now here's the thing, I was a confident, cocky, someone who told me you can't tell me anything. I have never said sorry before because that's not a vocab word that I learned. I looked at Mike and I thought if I made his life miserable, my mom would break up with him. And he says these words that changed my life. He said, I don't know what's been going on with you, man, but you've been in and out of this house. Your mom's kicked you out multiple times with trash bags to figure out your life. I don't know what's going on with you, man. But whatever problem you have, we are given the problems that we have. So we become the person we're meant to become. Right there, that was my wake up. I went into my senior year. I got my first all lay report card my last semester of my senior year. I applied to 30 different scholarships, 30. And I got denied 27 times. But one of those scholarships was a Bill and Melinda Gates scholarship, a full ride scholarship to go to school. And I went to the University of Oklahoma. I graduated from the University of Oklahoma where I graduated with honors in the front of my class. Life changed for me. When I was working on the Bill Gates scholarship, that was like eight essays. My mom worked like two jobs. What I realized at 8 p.m., 9 p.m. when I was procrastinating and I needed someone to read these essays, schools closed. Why should student support services only be available during the day when kids are, are in class? That would be like the grocery store only open when teachers are at work. We know that out of school barriers impact in school success. So why would we let the last bell ring and just let them go? So that was my idea. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna create an app that allows students to get support anywhere, anytime for the palm of their hand. It was called Student Success Agency. I said, I would have loved when I was 16 years old to have my own agent. I was like, LeBron James has an agent, Beyonce has an agent. Why can every teenager have their own agent? We're in 23 states, 471 schools. We service over 48,000 students with an agent in their pocket. We have done over 8.7 million one-to-one -one conversations online. As a first-generation college student who was really in the middle of the pack, I realized how average I was. And to be able to do what I do today, it makes me realize how our country has so many seven foot giants and big talent individuals that we need to uplift and empower. So my goal is to empower the adults who empower the students. We talk about students in a very negative way. Kids these days, right? And I know that there's a lot going on with them, right? The anxiousness, the mental health, uh, you know, the anxiety, the lack of, you know, motivation maybe that it feels. If an iPhone was a student in your school, it would be a senior. That means your seniors in your class are as old as the iPhone. We have all these people talking about artificial intelligence when we lost the mobile revolution. We didn't even prepare right for this one. And so we got to remember this phone evolution that's happening and understand that kids spend 4.8 hours on their phone a day. That's as much time as they spend in instruction in your class. So that means they live two school days every single day. The one in front of you and the one on their phones. We need to invest in our at-risk communities the way we invest in high-risk startups. Our schools are not factories, they are stock exchanges. Just like the stock market, we have a bell and we have stock that either goes up or down and we have the power to make sure humanity is going up and to the right. This is what we have the opportunity to do. Someone was a mic in your life, Someone made your life better, gave you an opportunity, and now you're responsible for doing that for other people.